Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll explore a crucial configuration for IT administrators. How to enable multiple remote desktop services sessions on Windows Server. IT administrators often need to enable multiple remote desktop sessions for various reasons, the most important of which are remote collaboration and reducing downtime. Whatever the reason, this is a crucial configuration for IT administrators. By default, Windows Server allows you to have a single remote desktop session. However, if multiple users connect to the same server via remote desktop, the current session will be interrupted, the connection will be lost, and you will be logged out of the session. For example, I am currently in a remote desktop session on a server running Windows Server, and when another user tries to open a remote desktop session on the same server, it will send me a message asking me to either terminate the current session and exit it or not allow the user to connect. You will have two options, either continue your work and the other user will be disrupted or exit and not continue your work. To solve this problem, I will explain how to enable multiple sessions for remote desktop services so that more than one user can connect to the server via a remote desktop session at the same time without exiting the current sessions. Now open the server for which you want to enable this service. Press Win R to open the Run dialog box. Then type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open the Local Group Policy Editor. Next, on the left side, navigate to the path shown on the screen. And I'll leave the path in the video description to make it easier to open and save the desired path. After opening the path, move to the other side. Now disable Restricting Single Session by double-clicking the policy called Restrict Remote Desktop Services User to a Single Remote Desktop Services Session. Then, select the Disabled option and click Apply and click OK button. Disabling this policy will allow users to create multiple sessions on the server from different client machines. Next, I'll set the maximum number of connections allowed. Double-click the policy called Limit Number of Connections. Select the Enabled option. And at the bottom, enter the number you want in the Maximum Number of Remote Desktop Connections field. If you enter 999999, you'll get an unlimited number of remote desktop connections. I'll enter 10 to allow 10 remote desktop sessions to be created simultaneously from 10 different client devices on the same server and click on Apply button and OK. You can of course change this number if you want to increase or decrease the number of sessions. With these steps, the server has been configured to accept more than one remote desktop connection session. At the same time, I'll verify this now. I'll make a remote desktop connection to the server from one of the client computers. After opening this session, I will open another session from another computer to verify the possibility of connecting to more than one remote desktop session after enabling the multi-session policy. Indeed, the server was connected from another remote desktop session. Therefore, two sessions were established for this server at the same time without disrupting or terminating any of them. That's all for today's video. By following these steps, you have now enabled multiple remote desktop services sessions on your Windows server. This setting is extremely valuable for environments that require simultaneous remote access for different users or administrators. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it with others who might benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more IT tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.